All right, different sort of update this week. I have my first prototype of the double roller cotton gin I'm making. Uh, this one is just a proof of concept. It's non-functional for the most part, but it was just something I wanted to slap together so I could um, better visualize what I had in my head and start to work on um, engineering issues with it. Uh, just wanted to fiddle around and play with some ideas and see whether or not they work before I invested any sort of money and see if uh, if some of the other ideas I had were valid and if I needed to do anything with them. Alright, so let me give you a rundown of what's going on with this thing. The heart of this double roller gin are these dual rollers and these are just a pair of five dollar uh, rolling pins off of Amazon. Um, I, I I do not have a wood lathe, so I had to purchase something else to use as rollers. And these rolling pins have three quarter inch um, tunnels drilled through them, except it was drilled from either end with a spade bit, and they're not concentric; they're they're misaligned. So I have I have to bore out the center of this, and then jam an axle through there, and then of course that causes the axle to pitch up away from the rollers so none of this is concentric and the these are not centered either and the axles are bent so there's a whole mess of slop in here and it's terrible and this it still spins but it's it's good there and then it gets real stiff I'm, I'm cranking on this pretty good so for the axles I just have two three-quarter inch dowels running through there and those are bearing on a set of three quarter inch bearings and those bearings I just have in hose clamps so that I can have some sort of friction to press on them and up here I just have a spacer and then I have a bolt that is threaded into this bracket up here that just runs up to the top and I can tighten and loosen these to put pressure on the bearing, to put pressure on the axle, to put pressure between the rollers. And as you can tell with how I have this set up at the moment, it's terrible and doesn't work very well. So at the moment I'm trying to work out how to get these bearings inside of the support to bear directly down instead of at this weird angle, and then I need to get these concentric. In order to get these concentric, I'm probably going to just jam some three quarter inch dowel in either end. Uh, to use as a bushing and then properly center and drill a half inch or three sixteenths hole on either end probably half inch and then run a half inch metal axle through the center and then set that axle in some half inch bearings that way I'm pressing on the bearings and these are concentric and that's just making do with what I have otherwise I would turn you know a three inch roller two three inch rollers well pro I'd probably stick with two inch rollers uh, three inch might be better I turn those and then get a concentric centered hole down the center for me to work with. And these up here, these are just wire nuts. They're covering up some wood screw. And down here I have a cross support that's just to help tension. That's just you know, drilled out a slot, sanded it, whatever, fit it. It actually fits rather nicely. I'm kind of proud of that. Too bad all this is getting thrown out. So, And down here I've just got it mounted to this baseboard. Uh, once just right through these brackets and that's all that's going on with it right now um, I have a bit of upland cotton here and I'm going to have to start this off camera and then I'll show you what it does with cotton in the moment as you can see I have the bowl of cotton started in here and as I crank on it it does pull the cotton through but when it gets to the seeds it stops because these rollers are not connected by anything other than friction, and there's just so much friction on this axle, it's just insane. Okay, off camera I started fiddling with it, and I actually got it to almost sort of gin cotton. See that? That's one seed of cotton, and it's separate from all this lint, except there's two pulverized seeds inside of here, because they went through the rollers, because these rollers are perfectly polished and they're not textured, so they're not grabbing the lint and they're not pulling the lint through. There's supposed to be a little bit of gap. These are way too tight and there's no friction, so it's not grabbing the lint and it's just sort of eventually 
grabbing the seeds and crushing them and pushing them through. That's not how it's supposed to happen. These are supposed to be rather loose and they're supposed to be textured so they will rip the lint off of the seeds while the seeds don't go through. So the, ideally uh, what I would like to do in the future is to have tooth gears on either side that interlink these axles together and then just pin or set screw those gears in place onto a steel axle so that when I turn one roller, both rollers turn. Those those are going to cost the most out of any anything out of here. So I'm waiting until I have everything figured out before I buy gears because that occurred to me. I never explained how a double roller gin works in um, in contrast to say an Eli Whitney saw gin. And there's plenty of information out there on how to build a saw gin, but uh, saw gins were not used for ginning Sea Island cotton. You see, the saw gin was uh, very rough with the the lint of the cotton and the very fine, delicate um, long strands of lint on Sea Island cotton just could not stand up to the saw gin. The saw gin would just rip them apart and the quality would be destroyed. So Sea Island cotton was ginned on a double roller gin because this is much softer on the lint. A double roller gin works by simply grabbing the lint in between the rollers, putting pressure on it, and sort of peeling it off of the seed. The lint goes through, the seed hits here, it stops, these rollers continue to spin, they pull the lint through, the seed stays there, eventually the lint pulls off enough that the seed falls off. Eli Whitney's saw gin was a genius invention that completely revitalized the cotton industry and made it so much more economically viable. Uh, however, it's much rougher on the cotton, and the the strong or the the not stronger the heavier, coarser, and shorter fibers of upland cotton were able to um, perfectly survive his uh, saw gin, but it was uh, far too forceful on the Sea Island cotton, and it damaged the lint. Sea Island cotton was a luxury item, and it was made into luxury clothing, or it was used in um, very high stress. Um, engineering applications like, say, drive belts, uh, um, parachute lines, stuff like that. And any degradation in the quality of the fiber uh, significantly hindered the utility of the Sea Island cotton fiber produced. So uh, ginning on a roller gin was critical to maintaining the quality of the fiber produced. That's why Eli Whitney's saw gin was not used for ginning Sea Island cotton. A typical double roller gin that was used in ginning Sea Island cotton uh, was foot powered for the most part. They also had hand crank powered ones, but uh, the foot powered ones were definitely the uh, more efficient. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, and this is going to be um, uh, powered by a pulley. And I'm going to have this set up like a double roller foot gin. It's not going to be historically accurate anyway, but it is going to gin cotton. That's at least my intent. And I'm going to put a pulley on the outside here. It's going to be a weighted metal pulley. And I'm going to put another one over there just so it has a pair of flywheels. That's going to be mounted to the top axle. And then I'm going to run a belt from that pulley down to something like that. Except it'll be a treadle. It'll be a sewing machine treadle. Here is an image of the treadle I have in question that I'm putting there. It's a so easy um, treadle. And I'll just mount this to another board. Mount that on top of that. Run a belt up through there and start ginning some cotton. It's that easy, except it's not because there's no information on how to build a roller gin anywhere online, just a couple of photos and no helpful stuff. So I'm just having to reverse engineer uh, what I can find from images online and try and build something and hope it works, but it probably won't work, but it also is because I'm not going to give up and I'm stubborn. See you next time.